1960s singing activist Joan Baez has been singing soprano for over 30 years. Her songs reveal her lifelong devotion to lending an ear and giving voice to society's problems. TV glow, that long hot summer, with all the cities that in this society were schizophrenics. We pencil in, we cancel out, we crave the corner sweet. We kiss you, we make you hold, we doctor the receipt. This folk heroine is nearing 50 and has harnessed her voice even when she's not carrying a tune to warn society of the dangers of ignorance and hypocrisy. The one change that man has never made throughout history has never made it. He's turned that sphere upside down a hundred thousand times. He's been revolution after revolution, and the bottom rises to the top and does the same thing to the bottom that the ones before did. And it was partly because of them that the Berlin Wall came down. I thought, gee, what a wonderful time to take a breather. And then, of course, everything erupted into the next phase of, of human hideous behavior. But. Um, here I am stringing my guitar and tuning it. Her songs are soundtracks of her commitment to change as well as records of the stones she's collected along her own road as a single mother. My political yearnings and my addiction to nonviolence started long before I ever picked up a ukulele. But for Baez, the political battle becomes more subtle as time passes, even though it remains the inspiration for her music. And when she went to make the album, Baez quickly learned just how much she'd evolved. And we fought all the time. You know, we fought just because just, you know how to write poetry, Joan, don't mean you know how to write a song. For Baez, her career has been a learning experience from her pregnancy at Woodstock while her baby's father was in jail to her pride today in watching her son take wing. So I look at the circle going like this, and there's my boy doing what I was incapable of doing. I felt as though something had come full circle, yeah. On the Entertainment Beat, I'm Lisa Petrillo, Channel 10 Eyewitness News.